This is your host, Koza Raspel, and welcome back to Bloodborne, Episode 2, Electric blood -aloo. I don't know. Um, we're going to be continuing from where we left off, and now I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I I have a vague idea of where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go into, the, like, the sewer, and then come back into the city. Actually, wait. I think I know. I, I think I just remembered. It, I'm supposed to go past a couple of, um... Big bulky dudes near where, uh, near where that guy who had the, uh, cannon in his arm. Well, cannon in his wheelchair. But, oh yes, it's good to be back to the Bloodborning. It is phenomenal. Oh, come on, buddy. You don't want to, you don't want to hurt you. Why are you alive? Die, die, give me some of that health. Yes, vials too. Vials always work. But yeah, ever uh, between this episode and the last one, I actually got a new game. Uh, I got Ratchet and Clank for, well, the remake for 2016. And, well, this year, I guess. It came out about five days ago, and I just complete. I didn't complete it. But I completed most of it within just a couple of days. And I have to say, it's probably one of the most uh, enjoyable games that I've played in a long time. Well, not not enjoyable games. I mean, it. I should say that it's probably one of the most enjoyable remakes I've played or reboots. But then again, I've never played, like, the... Uh... Tomb Raider reboot or anything like that. So my my view is kind of limited on the reboots I have played. I also finally beat that Digimon story game that I mentioned last episode. And I have to say I wish the ending was better, but I'm not upset with it. It didn't leave any bad taste in my mouth. I've played plenty of games which I've beaten that just left a horrific taste in my mouth, and I feel like that's a very common thing. Mine was actually Final Fantasy XIII 2, and I know a lot of people out there are probably like, whoa, wait, you played Final Fantasy XIII and liked it enough to give XIII 2 a shot? And I was like, yeah, the, the storyline might have made very little sense, and I was hoping that a sequel would actually expand upon that and give us the answers we were looking for. And I have to say the gameplay from 2 is a lot better than the gameplay from 1, but I can say this, Final Fantasy XIII 2 is probably still my most hated story game of my entire life so far. And I probably should have just started from Central Yarnum, but... Eh. This gets me some blood vials and some bullets. I haven't been using my gun at like all, but I love this Hunter Axe in its in its transform state so much that I don't really care. Oh, give me no, no, no. Okay, okay. I tried to get risky there. Die, just die, and stab myself. There you go. Go to sleep, big guy. I'll see you again real soon. And spin. Yeah! Wide swing. See, these guys are no big deal. Welcome to Bloodborne, the easiest game in the universe. <laughs> Where you can just take hits for days and never worry about anything. And I should open up this door in case I need to come back so I don't have to fight those two giants. But then again, those two giants aren't really that bad. I've fought plenty of worse things. Now, I said before, I should probably talk about how much of this game I'm going to complete, and I, right now, I have no idea. With my limited knowledge, I don't know where any of the optional bosses are, except for the Cleric Beast. Cleric Beast actually is an optional boss. You don't have to defeat the Cleric Beast. I just did because uh, it gives some souls access to the Sword Hunter badge, which actually gives one of my favorite weapons. The uh, Kirk Hammer. It's just a big hammer you can smash people with. It's a load of fun. Uh, but actually, the weapon I'm 
I know that I'm going to love using throughout this playthrough, I have to beat another optional boss called the Blood Starved Beast, which is insanely strong and annoying and just all sorts of not fun and bam. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to you, lady. You can you can ask me if I'm a hunter all you want, but I'm kind of just going to be moseying on my way, not caring about the people of this game. Because a lot of them don't do me any good. Although, to be fair, she does do you good. She's actually a very nice lady, once you get to know her. Um, by that, I mean play through the game completely ignoring her, and she'll eventually like come around to not being a complete dickbag. Oh god. But yeah, a lot a lot of the people in this game aren't really in my best interest. And that's my cat meowing in the background. I'm sorry if you can hear that. It's okay, Nala. I'm kind of playing Bloodborne right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Professionalism. And now she's come up to me to rub me. Okay. <laughs> and I have to focus on the game. So, any anyway, I forget what I was talking about. I got too distracted by a feline. Which happens more times than I'd like to admit. I can't remember if that was... Uh, yeah, yeah, she actually did interrupt me during... Uh, Oh no, oh no, 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 I can't move, I couldn't move! Are you telling me that little stub in the wall is what stopped me? Ah. Uh. Okay, and I'm back, sorry about, sorry about the cut there, uh, I ran, <laughs> I actually took my cat to another room and fed her. So that's why she was meowing. And, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my cat interrupted me <laughs> in the middle of my, uh, Super Punch Out, let's play. <laughs> oh, can't remember it too well as of right now, but then again, I'm currently fighting a behemoth. So, that's completely understandable. And should I attack those? No, I'm gonna leave those uh, werewolves alone for now. As good as it would be to get the vials they're holding, I don't wanna waste you guys. Waste you guys' times with the grinding for blood vials, and I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> what it, what impression was that? I heard that on TV recently, or no? I looked up a YouTube video and it was just some guy talking like that. <laughs> I am not about to start. Okay, slice, slice. Let's keep moving. So as of right now, I'm heading to the, s the first real boss, but I guess second boss. Let's see, how am I doing on time? I'm doing pretty good on time. And I'm slicing these dogs because they're going to get out of their cages if you just leave them alone. And dogs are just the worst. No, no, no survivors. Oh! I forgot about you! This is why there's no survivors! Yeah, stab the pup. Yes, I'm a hunter. I cannot help you until I get to a certain point in the game. So I'm not trying that yet. Hello! Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Takes four hits to kill these guys. I think I might have enough shards to upgrade my weapon now. Because if I remember correctly, these guys dropped the... Ooh, there's an item on that guy. I want it. I want the item because I'm greedy. And hello. Die. Die. Super die. I'm going to leave. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Get away. Heal. You and I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Blood vial. 
I want blood shards. And you know, it's funny because I'm saying that because um, very, very quickly into this game, are blood shards completely useless? And you're going to have to start gathering twin blood shards, which start to become extraordinarily useless as well. And then you get blood chunks. And again, we're talking about blood. How many times am I going to say blood during this LP of Bloodborne? Because blood... I have to heal myself with blood vials, and then I have to heal, uh, upgrade my weapons with blood shards, and then twin blood shards, and just blood, blood, blood. Also, it's all over my character. Look at how terrible cold blood do, I mean. Ah. Nope. He's gone. He's alive. I know he's alive, and he has my souls! Echoes! Echoes! They're echoes. My bad. They're souls in the Souls game. They're blood echoes. Yeah, blood echoes here. Kill the crows! They're only gonna be dicks if you leave them alive. They will benefit no part of mankind. They have their own secret agenda. Now I think I have to go down? That seems... that seems accurate. Some oil urns. <laughs> I think I'm out of Molotovs. So that doesn't help me too much. I know I want... Let's see, where's that lead? Where does anything lead? Um, let's see. I guess I should go down. Oh. Fall damage means nothing to me. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. But I want to go down here. Or is that where I'm supposed to go? The only thing I know is that it's near a hallway with a great big pig. Uh, so, that will be my sign. And hello everyone. Who's having a nice day? Who wants to barf all over me and claw me when I try to get that item? Because you're all dicks who can't just let anyone take your stuff. I come into your your room and steal your stuff and suddenly you get pissy with me. It's not fair. Oh no. Get away. Get away. Oh, it's a slap fight. They ended up winning. Well, technically I won, but I feel like I lost more than they did in that department. They only lost their lives, which, let's face it, they didn't have much of one to begin with. But don't. I don't. Okay, dead. Okay, you're dead. Oh no, you're not dead. Huh. And down I go. That's where I'm supposed to go. Yes, I'm heading the right way right now. Which might mean I'm missing out on secrets. But then again, I don't really care right now. Slice! Slice! I don't know why I spliced a third time. And I know behind that pig is actually another badge that will give me... I never explained what the Sword Hunter badge is. That I got from the Cleric Beast. Um, oh, hello there. Okay, let's switch out weapons. I need something faster to take that pig down with. Let's go into its big room, not just uh, fight it in that tiny hallway. And slice. And right up the bomb. That was probably the most disgusting thing I've done lately. Cold dew. Cold blood dew, not cold dew blood. 
Anyway, I just got the Saw Hunter badge, and essentially these badges allow me to access more items in the shop. Uh, back at my, back at my Hunter Dream, I think it's called. Uh, it's so hard to keep track of what everything's called, and I should really be climbing faster. Um, let's see, I should, oh, here's the shortcut. Here is the shortcut. And now that's accessible, I'm fairly certain. Now this part's a little tricky. Just gotta run past all these dudes, leave me alone. Leave me alone guys, the boulder's coming. Burn it. And let's take care of you. Did that guy? Oh my gosh, that guy lived by blocking it. How? Oh. Come on, buddy. Let's just... Let's just handle this nicely. There we go. I'm getting real close to the boss. But then again, I did just unlock a shortcut, so I don't know. Where does this lead? You know, I actually have no idea where this leads to. Exploring! Hmm. Where am I? Is this gonna lead out to where the pig was? Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a ladder over here. I thought this was a dead end. That makes life so much simpler if you just kill the pig. Then again, I'm fairly certain the pig respawns, so... Lost cause there. But we're all learning things here. I swear there's someone online who's going like, No, no, you killed the pig. Just go forward, Q. And I'm just like, nope, I'm going to go the way only I... <laughs> the only way I know how, and I don't care how wrong it is. And kill these dudes. Oh. All sorts of fun is being had. Huh. No, no. Spin to win. Ugh. That worked out far better than I thought it would have. And some bold hunter's marks, which act as a means to teleport me back to the hunter's dream. Or back to the last lamp, one of the two. And boss time. I'm gonna need this out. Let's do this. I am so not ready for this. I really should have gone back and spent my souls. Echoes. Blood echoes. But I... I guess I haven't had enough tragic things happen to me in this playthrough yet. I'm pretty sure this guy has the exact same setup that I have. With a hunter axe and a blunderbuss. So we're gonna see who is king of blood? Yeah, this is the guy who gave us the, what was it, transfusion at the beginning? The blood, blood transfusion at the beginning of the game. Huh? Huh? And shoot your gun? Nope. Nope. There it goes. Now I got my gun out. Because I'm going to try to stagger this guy. So at, right before he hits me, I'm going to try to shoot him in the face. And then go up here and here. Ah! For massive damage. He's really easy to protect like that. And... Uh, <clears throat> What's that smell? Oh... Oh. To me. It's enough to make a man sick. 
Nope. Nope. Got him! And got all that health back too, sweet. Ah, oh, we're shooting each other and it's not doing much. I don't have infinite bullets though. Stop trying to shoot me! Oh no. Oh! He spun to one! Doesn't really work when you use it for them. Ah! Ah! I don't feel like fighting fair. And here we go. Time for the real part of the fight. Uh. Okay. I got him! Sweet! Uh. He's probably the first boss I ever learned to do this again simply to make this just so much easier. Did I win? I think I won. Sweet! And pray slaughtered! Odian Tomb Key? Or is it Oedon? Oedon? Odian? You know, I'll see it later. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like O D O E N. So, Odian? Odoin? I'm harping about this too much. And where is the doll? She likes to move. I guess first things first though, I really should upgrade my weapon. So let's upgrade, and I'm gonna need five bloodstone shards. Let's see, where is she? This ain't fair. She's not dead. Hmm. Doll! I need to level up and you're not here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, here you are. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you You're a doll, so I'm gonna have to request you to not go anywhere whenever I need you. Thanks, that would be great. And that's all I could do for now. But the important thing is that I raised my physical defense, which that is enormous in this game. Farewell, good hunter. So now I'm gonna be able to survive a lot more hits. Um, I don't need anything from you right now, but thanks for asking. And I'm going to head over to the next part, because we still have a little bit of time left. Oidon. Okay, it's not Odoin, it's Oida. Oida? I don't freak. I'm harping again. I'm a broken record at this point. I got no idea how to pronounce this. And the worst part, if anyone says it, I have my TV nearly muted so that uh, so that it doesn't show up on the game audio. So I'm not going to be able to hear how anyone pronounces it. So, let's move forward. And here we go. I wonder if anyone tried to run away from him at first. Ugh. Knowing that it's impossible to... to run away, but... Perhaps there's some secret with it? That you don't have to fight that dude? I could swear that he is a, he is a boss that you're not allowed to avoid, though. I could be wrong on that aspect, but I do not believe I am. And just... Come here. Blood gem workshop tool. Now I can inf <laughs> now I can fuse my weapons with blood gems. Come on, open the door faster.
Welcome to Odin Chapel, the one safe place in pretty much all of Bloodborne. Well, safe as in people aren't trying to kill you. But then again, like people don't kill me in the Hunter Dream. Actually, I can't say that. But regardless, hello, nice looking lady. Hmm. Sorry, I needed to talk to her. Uh, she wants me to tell people about this place, how it's the one safe place in all the world. And that's where we're going to leave off. I only had enough time to show you guys this, and mostly also because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. So, with that being said, next time on Let's Play Bloodborne, we're going to explore around this region, check out its secrets, or I'll possibly bypass everything. Uh, our goal is to get to the Blood Starved Beast within the next couple of episodes, but there are a couple... I'm pretty sure there's at least... I know there's at least one uh, lamp and a bunch of shortcuts between there and uh, the Blood Starved Beast, though. So it might take a couple episodes to get there. I don't know. Might get there in the first 10 minutes of the next one, slaughter the boss, and then I'll, I won't know what to do for the last 20. But with that being said, this has been your host, Kosa Raspel. Hoping to see you in the next video. And signing out.